Hey guys, how's it going? First, like, this is the first me shooting a blog in 2015, uploading it. It might actually go live on my blog. Yes, I've actually done more than one or two blog posts in a row. I'm just gonna give myself like this. I'm fist pumping. I almost said I'm fist pumping myself and then I realized how highly inappropriate that sounds, but you know what I'm saying. High five, pat on the back, whatever. Really proud. I'm making, you know, a lot of simple changes, but simple changes add up. I wrote it, I wrote about that actually in my blog today. Um, for those of you guys that just tend to watch me on YouTube, make sure you head on over there to kellyalexa.com because kellyalexa.com also links to a lot of cool stuff on fitfluential.com. And really, if you know me and you're not connected with Fitfluential, if you're not a member, if you're not subscribed to those blog posts, on Fitfluential, you're just crazy. You're missing out on prizes every single day, like multiple prizes, multiple exclu exclusive coupons and discounts. Plug, plug, plug. I just did a lot of plugging there, but there you go. I know a lot of you are gonna ask me about this in the comments. Let me see, who am I wearing today? I believe this is Reebok, if I'm correct. I might have to look. I'll put it down in the comments below because I'll just look like an idiot if I try to figure out who it is. But Kind of, a, kind of a big day here. Um, started to go lighter with the hair, so we're getting ready and thinking positive thoughts for spring. Certainly need to because today it is, I think, negative 20. I think today's one of those days in Chicago where they're, where they're like, don't go outside longer than 10 minutes if you have to, um, if you don't have to, because <laughs> you can get frostbite in like 30 seconds. Um, but anyway, here's the deal. So it's my first video that I've shot where I know I'm gonna make it live, it's gonna go live on my blog, I've got a new attitude, and guess what? I am gonna be brief. I'm even reading a book that's called Brief, so I can be more brief. You guys, I'm gonna do it. You're gonna watch me. Today, I'm talking about something simple. I'm actually gonna shoot several videos because I have a little bit of a break, and I actually have to go to the doctor tonight. Um, I was supposed to be heading to, little peek at what I'm talking about in a second, I'm supposed to be heading to Phoenix today to spend a week with Whitney Jones, who's my trainer, and also see Dr. Risky, who is a hormonal balance specialist for women and also for men. Hormonal balance is not just uh, for women. It doesn't just happen to us chicks. Um, but you guys know this is something that I should have done four years ago, um, but I've had a lot of blood work done and I'm going out there. But sadly, I had to cancel my trip this week because the past eight or nine days, it's been very strange, um, I have had excruciating, um, debilitating, destructive, I'm just being a drama queen, but really, really um, very bad um, cramps every night at like four in the morning, every single night. It was so bizarre, um, and no, it's not Flo is not visiting, so it's not that. Um, very, very intense, and when I wrote to Dr. Risky yesterday, I said, should I still come, or, you know, because it was bad enough that I thought I was going to have to go to the emergency room. I'll put it that way. Still not used to wearing blush, people. It's contouring. I'm sorry, it's not blush. Um, he said no. He said you've got to go see a doctor, you've got to get an ultrasound, and likely what's going on is you might have to have, hopefully I'm saying these words correctly, and hopefully I don't have to have this. Maybe it'll be a simpler procedure. I'll find out tonight. They said something like um, uterine ablation or partial hysterectomy. Good times. <laughs> I love female problems. Just kidding. I don't. I hate it. But anyway, let's just move on. So that's why I'm in Chicago. Going to the doctor tonight about it. I have a good attitude. We'll deal with whatever comes our way. And I'm going to be sharing this whole like hormonal journey with you guys and the resolution. Because Whitney has said a ton of her female clients that are my age, um, you know, in their 40s, sometimes late 30s, and some in their 50s that have crazy stress and work hours like me and have all, had all this hormonal imbalance. Once they get it straightened out, it's like they're just a completely new person as far as energy, as far as sleep, as far as being able to reach their fitness goals, yada, yada, yada. Very exciting. I'm only at four minutes and 15 seconds. I'm kicking vlog butt today. So excited, <laughs> even though I'm going to deal with medical crap. So here's the thing. Let me turn this off so I can show you. Hold on. One of the things I wanted to talk about, turn off! Just a little tense today, um, is a pretty simple thing that's a, a small change, but it's made a huge difference. And that is, you guys, when I am doing my um, my macros and tracking what I'm eating every day, it's, it's really, and forgive me, because I just weighed something on here, so it's got a little stain. But this is from um, a company called Eat Smart. I bought this on Amazon, if I'm correct, for like 25 bucks. In fact, I just 
checked it out. I'll put the link below. I think it's like $25. But this scale, in fact, I was just telling Valerie Waters about this because she said my scale only does grams. It doesn't do ounces. This scale, I don't know if it's going to do well when I hold it up this way. It tends to like being set on a flat surface. But when I turn this on, see how it comes up with ounces? And then, see, right now it's like, why the hell am I not on a flat thing? You can do kilograms, you can do grams, you can do ounces, whatever. Um, but I weigh everything because, guys, I've learned. Let me show you. Here's my takeout sushi, okay? Now, I can look at that and go, well, that's probably, you know, I can look at this salmon and, and try to compare it to a four-ounce chicken breast and go, well, that's four ounces. But let me just, for craps and giggles, um, hold on. No, it's not. Um, one piece of beautiful salmon sashimi, let me change this so it's not pound, it's going to be ounces. Hold on people, grams, kilograms, ounces. One piece is .90 of an ounce, and I'm pretty sure if I look at my macros, like I, I figured that out like a, an, a, excuse me, one and a half ounces has uh, 28 um, grams of protein. So anyway, the end of the day is there's something to be said about eyeballing and there's something to be said about really keeping track. This has been a wonderful thing when you're measuring your cereal, when you're measuring um, also things like a tablespoon of peanut butter. You know, don't go by the tablespoon, go by the grams. And some people, here's the thing, I'm going to wrap this up really soon. Some people will leave comments, whether it's on Twitter or Instagram or whatever, and you should be following me everywhere there too get as much of me as you possibly can. It helps you fall asleep, I know. But some people will go, oh my God, I'd die if I had to measure all that stuff. That might not be for you, okay? You might be uh, further ahead than me. For me, certainly, especially in my state right now with this hormonally imbalanced body, um, the details count. You know, the first 10 days or 11 days that I was on Whitney's program, I lost 3.8 pounds. That's more than I lost probably in the first two and a half months with that jerk off that I dated for five seconds, but who was training me. So me paying more attention, me not doing things like having an extra quest bar every day, me just really sticking to what I do on here and making sure I weigh it. If I say I'm doing four ounces or something, it's because I measured it. It matters. And to me, it's, it's an extra few minutes. In fact, when I was on my trip last week, I was really annoyed that I didn't pack this. So I think I'm gonna get myself an extra one and pack it. So I'm curious to you guys, do you weigh your food? Have you done it before? Does it sound like a pain in the butt to you? Or does it sound like something that might help you be more accurate on what you're eating so you can either hit those gains or you know lean out better or whatever? At the end of the day, if you're not seeing the results you want, you've got to look at all the details. I have been as guilty as anybody else in not paying attention to details. That's what I do now. Get yourself a scale, more to follow. Amen! I so rock today.